Hi, parents of Aries children. Welcome to Parental Guidance for the month of July. All right. Uh, so what we're going to do is find an overall theme for your child. Uh, we're going to break down the energies by week and get some confirmation cards um, with that as well. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to look at it. There's no, there's no difficulty, no degree of difficulty for the universe. It's like, I don't have to shuffle extra hard. If a card wants to come out and it's ready, then so be it. Aw. I receive help when I ask for it. Can I already tell what kind of lesson this is going to be? Probably not. I think I know, but we'll see. So in the month of July, your Aries child, which can be rather short-tempered, may have to learn uh, that if you want something, you need to ask for it. And when you ask for it, you will get the help that you need. See what's, hap what's the energy for the, the third week in July? Perhaps being stubborn. That's parental care. Yep, a little bit about being selfish in that fourth week. It's still third. That's that's third. Yep. Some selfish energy. Fourth week, please. What's the energy for the fourth week? Finally <sighs> getting the grip. Finally coming to, you know, releasing the stubbornness, I should say. Ooh. I popped out and then went back in. Okay. It could be some stubborn energy, but we'll find out. Let's see what the clarifiers are for this first week. That's it. Let's go on to the second week, please. Okay, Ace of Water, Third Week, Fourth Week, please. It's the ten of fire, almost letting something go, protecting something. It's like an ebb and flow. I like thick cards, I love thick cards, but they 
have a tendency to make them very difficult to shuffle. Oh dear goodness. I'm trying to. Like shuffling cards may not be my strong suit. I was never good at shuffling cards, playing cards. I expect the tarot to be no different. Okay. So let's get some clarifying messages for the last week. Two of air. Maybe a sense of feeling stuck. Yeah, there's some there's a lack of movement. I feel like there's like one or two more cards. Okay. And I feel like there's one more. Oh. Cool. All the beans. All right. So in the first week. Mind you, their overall monthly theme for July is I receive help when I ask for it. So there's a level of, okay, they have to take the initiative that if they want things to change, they have to get out of their own way and get it done. Um, in the first week of July, some people are stagnant. They have the moving card off to the side. They're like somewhat of an indecision about something being true to you in the same way. Like, I don't know, it could have been like, oh, I didn't pull the last card. It could have been a situation where um, dealing with emotions, compassion, they could have been involved in a group or something um, where they were concerned about how they would be received. But I, I get like, I'm, I'm feeling the impression that there was an external force, like a, a peer group or something, that they were like, well, I don't know how much of myself I can be fully in this group, but wanting to be compassionate and helpful, um, I, just, I get a sense that in something they just didn't feel like they belong. They have, I am smart today, I will remember that I have everything that that I have everything I have ever learned inside of me. If I don't know something, I can find it out. So it's like some kind of like doubting their own abilities at the smart card and reverse. Let's see what's happening because I forgot to pull these. See what's going on in the rest of the weeks as far as their attitudes. Confident in the second week. So this week finishing up. What is the attitude for the third week? And then July. I just get like an epicenter, like a pearl or something in the third week. 
could be a moon, but it's a white circular light that has their focus. That may be significant for somebody. But they're, they're like drawn to a focal point. Have I am grateful in reverse along with I am special. What's going on in this fourth week? I am friendly. I feel like that's fifth week. So in the second week, there's something going on about finances or everything is okay but finances or it's, it's either something dealing with money or everything else is the focus but money. They have the Ace of Water, so it's an, um, an opportunity, a new start, um, and, a, you know, connections, peer relations, relationships, and I am confident. Today, I will be the best I can be in everything I do. Me at my best is awesome. So I don't know what this pertains to. But something dealing with like a lack thereof of finances, but there's some confidence, there's a new um, relationship, a connection, maybe involving finances. Yeah, they may need to ask somebody for help. They have I am confident in the second week of um, July, your Aryan child has an opportunity or it's some kind it's something about an activity of advancement that they um, that is either connected to a new connection or they have to go to this new connection um, to you know get this activity off the ground or some kind of exchange something they have to ask somebody for help um, in the second week but they they have the confidence to ask for whatever help it is like big help whatever it is they have the confidence to do it um there's something about in this third week coming up that they're rigid in their thinking they're not changing their mind about something um they're very self-focused this month. They're not thinking about parents. Um, they're not looking. There's no flexibility <laughs> in this third week. So just be mindful. Um, they also have I am special in reverse today. I will take a moment to be proud of who I am. I will write five things. I will write down five things I like about myself. And there's a lack of gratitude. So either they, there could be some arrogance or it could be that they don't think they're special. It could go either way, but there's not a sense of gratitude. It says today we'll find one person or five things to appreciate in my life. I will also tell the person how grateful I am to have, grateful I am for them. There, there's just a, a self-focused mindset in this third week in, uh, uh, what do I wanna say August, but July. Um, leaving something behind to pursue something that they want to do. So, excuse me, again, there's this enthusiasm to pursue something while just like, I'm out. Like, I'm not, I don't want to do that. Like, they're just, bye. Like, they're, they're shifting their focus to themselves for the third week. And they're, in the fourth week, 
there is a transition. It's almost as if the selfish energy from week three has showed itself and it's coming full circle. So the focus is spirituality and religion or religion and spirituality uh, where there's like a shift in realizing that maybe they, someone talks to them and they're like, look, you can't act that way. That's not acceptable. And you know, they have to think outside of themselves, which I would think has to happen often for Aries. Uh, sometimes they don't think before they act. Um, but anywho, I see that because they're being guided by the, um, the high priestess to kind of realize that there's certain things going on that may not be to their knowing that they have to be aware of. You know, karma is in play here, a balancing of the scales with justice. So I feel like they're having to see, um, you know, like the, I don't want to say the error of their ways, but they're having to like, See the other side, see somebody else's perspective. And there's this resistance or like a lack of friendliness or openness to it. Um, they have, I am friendly in reverse. It says, today I will say hello and smile at everyone I see, my friends and family, and even the friends I haven't met yet. So there could be like an attitude of resistance to this idea of, you know, if they're confronted by you or someone else, like, hey, you can't act that way. They're, they may not receive it at first, but, but gradually they understand that there are bigger things in play outside of them uh, coming up in the, the fourth week of July. Now moving into the last, um, there's something about courage and reverse. Uh, we have quite a few cards. We have the two of air. So to me, it's like something is indecision or not knowing how to move. They have the ace of air. So there's definitely no movement there. Um, they have the, the five of, 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 or six of wands, you know, no victory, no moving forward. They call it the five of fire. They have the, the eight of earth, um, you know, something is done growing. There is a transformation uh, up ahead and they have the, uh, the six of water. So it's almost like I put childish things away. I, I feel like with these cards, there is a moving forward. There's some sense of maturity. There's some kind of like understanding that there has, um, they have to move forward. And, and having these other cards, I almost feel like, you know, courage isn't necessary. This is something that they now understand and know that they have to do. Um, if they were once indecisive, there's a pause. There is no moving forward and they're not feeling strong. Let me see this. I just get perspective. Like, I feel like they're like, uh, you know, whatever that conversation was, they have an understanding where it's like, they just need to take a seat for a second. And that's where they wanna sit. It's like they've been sobered up or humbled by something that happens. They have the Ace of Air, Destiny, Fate, Law of Karma, Powerful Forces, Synchronicity. Something is, is at a halt. Um, stalemate, uncertainty, right. Like, that's what I said. Um, let's see what else we got here. We have the six. six of, they got six of water, six of fire. That's, and when you have water and fire, something is put out. So... Some, there is a, a pause. Stepping into the limelight, no. This, there's no, none of that. Nostalgia, sweet memories, no. It's like moving on from the past. Um, and especially with this transformation card here, we know that this is purpose. Something, it's like, 
they're they're standing still so that they can have that transformation, seeing things from a, a new perspective, which is essentially the death card. Change. So things have to, sometimes changes are abrupt. Some things, sometimes things just need to stop in its place completely in order for the change to reveal itself. So I would expect um, this final week, it's, it's like arrogance, arrogance, or something. There's something about like a focal, like energy driving, like their, their mind is like um, very fixed on, on what it is that they want to do. There's, there's something in the second week about something that they get confidence from. Third week, they don't want to listen to anybody. Fourth week, they get humbled. Fifth week, it's like they, everything has to stop for this, can, this transformation that I feel may be a continuation into August. So we'll find that out. So let me know how this resonates with you. Um, some, I, just, I just say what I'm, I'm getting and feeling, but I really don't know how it speaks to everybody and everybody's situation is different. So I could be picking up on a lot of different things for many parents where one week may resonate and apply more than the other four or you know some kind of mix in between so your comments are very helpful to let me know who this message is for um let me know you guys in the comment section take care of yourself be healthy and uh, we'll see you next month thanks for watching